you're still going first. This is my beloved, <laughs> the apple of my eye. Um, we were married 25 years ago. Next Sunday, as a matter of fact. <clears throat> and, you know, you all go into a marriage with expectations, as we should. But <laughs> we don't go in to change someone, for sure. Um, seven years into our marriage, we, or I, was going to get out of that marriage. <laughs> um, just a lot of issues and problems. And, and um, during that period of thinking, well, where am I going to go? What am I going to do? <laughs> I recalled that we got married in a church <clears throat> and stood before a church full of people and before God and said, till death do we part. And uh, I wasn't dead, and he wasn't dead. <laughs> and, you know, it, that sounds silly, but that turned it around for me. And I knew that till death do we part, and we'll be together until that time. I'm not giving him an option. <laughs> and then soon after that, we uh, were at a marriage advance, and, and the couple spoke on forgiveness. And, you know, we all know about forgiveness, but um, they suggested something that we hadn't done, and, and that really changed things for us. Um, instead of going to bed, you know, and laying on your side and ignoring him because <laughs> I don't want to be near him, <laughs> we would, we would um, turn to one another and, and um, ask to be forgiven for anything that we might have done that day that upset the apple cart. And it, it, um, we didn't go to any detail. We didn't ask, well, what did you do? Because then you get into, well, you said this and I said that and da-da-da-da-da-da. And um, so we, we just asked to be forgiven. And um, since then, we've learned instant forgiveness. But <laughs> at that time, we weren't there. Um, so it, it, it really made a change in our marriage. So I just want to encourage you all <laughs> that you remember your vows um, and remember your, your period of dating and, and why did you fall in love with that person? What, what drew you to them? We're not perfect, but, you know, if, if you re remember that stuff, I think it'll rekindle love that maybe you've lost. messed it up the first service because I didn't come up here and sing the line. What a oh. And um, yeah, we did go through a rough part and we all went through some wounds. Um, but one of the things that I do now is when I get up in the morning, I think how can I bless him? And I ask God to show me ways to bless her today. The other thing is that I do is I ask God to show me how she, the things she does for me to show that she loves me so that I see it and I don't miss it. Uh, because it's so easy to miss those things. Um, and what all that's done for me is that there are times when I think about her, um, sometimes it's on the way home. Sometimes her and I ride in the car, and uh, we don't talk 
all the time that they drive, and they have to be they have to be quiet during that time. And and I'm thinking, and I start thinking about her and how much I love her, and I get that. drive that 45 minutes and just earnestly by beside myself because I wanted to be next to her. I just wanted to be, if I could just get next to her, life would just be much better. And it was. It really, and it is. When, when I'm next to her like right now, I got the joy. And so, If you don't know...